Can we do the 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 Asian name? Oh story, my God! Please? Yes, there's a big oh. lawsuit. Of course, is there a lawsuit? No, why wouldn't? Well, they? well, the Could well the airline lawsuit? is saying that this dumb thing that this news station did is ruining their name, and I would say I think what ruins their name is the fact that three people died in a horrific landing yeah. out there in San Francisco. Yeah. True. Yeah. The fact that your pilot hit the seawall. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a lot worse than some wacky, stupid, fake names. Yeah, yeah. This is how it went down. We got oh, a better no. copy? I think so. This is so bad. Hit and killed by a fire truck. God damn it. You survive the landing, the crash landing, and then you get run over oh. on the runway because you were thrown from the plane. Oh, wait. It's a teen killed in Asiana crash was hit by a fire truck. Yeah, yeah. they're still trying to determine if she was dead or not. Oh, okay. God, but, she was dead. But, they, but she definitely got hit by a fire oh, truck. Oh, yeah. That's like a cartoon. Crazy. I think we said that last week. Yeah. yeah. All right. The coroner is still trying to determine the cause of death and whether she was already dead when the truck hit her. We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTVU has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Tu Lo, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. The NTSB has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on board flight 214 when it crashed. We are working to determine exactly what roles each of them played during the landing on Saturday. No one will... Investigators will... That looks all serious. How investigators. The fuck do you fall for that? What I Read the dummy. names. Just read the names. What, what was she thinking as she was reading the names? No, no one will ever beat that. No, that's a great Some one. Ting Wong... Wong. Something wrong. We too low. We too low. And she was smart enough not to say fuck and, no, and, and pronounce it fook. She's probably like, how is this pronounced fook? Right. I want to make sure. How did that make it through? Eh? It came from the uh, NTSB. I think you should fire everybody. Yeah. Everyone gets I mean, fired. Everyone. Even even people that weren't working that not day. Not because it's offensive, for sheer incompetence. For, for just being a stupid human being. Uh, there was an apology. Oh yeah, I would hope so. I and have not uh, heard the apology. The, re upsetting. the rest of the media refuses to to they, play this. Clip. They won't play it. But I, it's and they all comment over the on internet. It. They comment I, on it too. They're like, and we will not be playing the uh, clip. No, no, no. But they want to make believe that what we're not on the internet. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Let me know. Holy they fuck! Walk. Oh, the same dopey redhead had to apologize there, Sam Roberts. It looks like it. All right, let's see the apology. And the pilots involved in the Asiana Airlines crash, these names were not accurate despite an NTSB official in Washington confirming them late this morning. We apologize for this error. Tonight we want to take a moment and say that we are sorry. <laughs> Earlier today during Everyone our new newscast, we misidentified the pilots in the Asiana Airlines crash. We made several mistakes when we received this information. First of all, we never read the names out loud, phonetically sounding them out. Then during our phone call to the NTSB, where the person confirmed the spellings of the names, we never asked that person to give us their position within the agency. We heard this person verify the information without questioning who they were, and then we rushed the names onto our new uh, news. Camp. There you go. Within the last few minutes, the NTSB issued this statement. Quote, the National Transportation Safety Board apologizes for inaccurate and offensive names that were mistakenly confirmed as those of the pilots. Oh. A summer intern acted outside oh, the scope of his Jackie. authority when he erroneously confirmed the names of the flight crew on the aircraft. We work hard to ensure that only appropriate Who's factual the intern? information yep. regarding an investigation is released, and we deeply regret today's incident. It was probably the intern. Appropriate action yeah. will be taken to ensure that such a serious error is not repeated. That intern's a hero now, with his with friends. This <laughs> from the wow. We want you to know here we accept full responsibility oh, for this mistake. shut up. Pause. We Give the an fuck. apology later. I hate prank. the full responsibility. What does that mean, though? That yeah. means something should happen to you. It was just a dumb prank that got on the air. You should get an on, on, on air spanking or At something. At least he no, admitted to rushing witch? on the air. Thank you. What a <laughs> <laughs> At least he admitted to rushing it on yes. the air. Wait, so the intern came up with the fake names? Yes. Yeah, Again, like the NBC yeah, yeah. intern. They're always, bl by the way, and I know somebody. I don't, I don't completely buy that. I, I believe that people were fired from NBC and it was not an intern. That's what I've been told. It was oh, not really? an intern who edited that tape. No. Of course not. Yeah, how could you let an intern edit tape for broadcast Something and then just accept important. it? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Do. <laughs> it's true, but standards are low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Not very. Fucking here? High standards here. What? Yep. No. Is, uh, Let, let's see if he, this idiot says anything else. We're Ugh. in the new newscast. We also apologize on our website uh, and on our social media. We heard sites. you. The fact is, we have a lot of good people here at Channel uh, 2. Uh, and behalf on all of us, on behalf of all of us, I want to tell you that we pride ourselves on getting it right no, and don't. having the highest of standards and integrity. No. Something wrong. <laughs> High standards. Way. Holy we fuck. Made a mistake. So again, from all we of us heard here at you. TVU, we can only offer our sincerest apology. Wow! And he's just lying. You don't have high standards. You just fell for like the yeah. like a third One grader's prank. One of the oldest prank. tricks in the book. And our program. How, you, how do you have high standards? Our program director, Mike Hunt, says he's terribly sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Now uh, to weather with Phil McCracken. <laughs> sports with Haywood. Haywood, you blow yeah, me yeah. with sports. That was Rocco's favorite. <laughs> hey, would you blow me? <laughs> uh, read this name. I think that's what how he did the bit. Yeah. You just have interns come in. Read the name. Hey, would you blow me? Ah, that's funny, uh, dude. dude. I'm confused by that prank still. Why? So the intern comes up with the names, right? Yeah. To, and was just feeding it to all the news stations and only one bit? Or maybe the intern just took that one call from that news station. Uh huh. The intern and they said, "You have the names," and he said, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got them. Yeah, I got. I got your right. names for you. Sure. So I don't think the names were written down ahead of time. So I think someone just had the the goofy names in there. No, they had to have them written down. I don't understand. You think we'll get to the bottom of this one? So we'll maybe, come forward. Maybe the people down there at the NTSB were making some jokes. Whoa. You know, and saying, hey, what do you think the pilot's name was? That's possible. Ah, yeah, yeah. And they're making some jokes. And then the intern heard it. And when they asked him what the names are, he was like, oh, yeah, it's. Yeah. I need to know more. Yeah. I would love to know what the inside scoop is there. They probably already killed the person, though. Yeah. The person's gone. We'll Dead. see him no more. No. Nah.